Hey everyone. So, um, occasionally when I try different uh, drinks and stuff, uh, they've been given to me by this kid I work with at the theater named Brad, who speaks in nothing but homoerotic double entendres. So he comes into work one day and he's like, Hey Dave, I've got a sack just full of something for you to suck. And I'm like, Brad, no, please no. And he whips out this gallon size, uh, like, Ziploc bag full of all of these Mexican candies. And he's like, don't worry, Dave, don't worry. I've got something nice and spicy, and you're going to suck on it all night long. And I'm like, oh, God, I have to report you, HR. I have to report you. But then, <laughs> but then he finally presents uh, what he wants me to try, which is a, a Mexican watermelon-flavored lollipop with chili powder on it, knowing that I like spicy things. Um, there was one day where... If you saw my uh, one chip challenge where I tied three of them, I had two chips left. One of them I gave to uh, my friend Steven, who used to work at the theater. So he wanted his uh, father to try it. And the other one I brought into the theater, and the, the kids who worked there kind of like broke it up into pieces, and they all tried like little pieces of one. And uh, the results were pretty funny, but I'm, I'm not going to post that one. Um, so this is from Reba Nadidas. I'm sure I'm um, butchering that horribly. But this is kind of what the, the wrapper or the lollipop looks like. Um, it's wrapped because I would never accept anything unwrapped or opened from Brad after knowing what he does with Gatorade bottles. And <laughs> you don't want to know that story. I think that'd get me demonetized. <laughs> and uh, so um, I'm going to try it. I'm not a huge fan of artificial like candy watermelon flavor, but I'm okay with it. Um, I'm thinking this might taste like... Um, Someone I work with at my other job, or used to work, they used to be one of my employees before I got promoted, um, they had something called, like, tagine, or taz it was like, um, it was kind of like a, a sugary, um, uh, like, uh, spice or something that, um, people sometimes put on, uh, watermelon slices, like with actual watermelon. I'm fairly certain that when I went to Epcot and I went to, uh, La Cava del Tequila, uh, in Epcot, Great place, recommend it. Uh, I had um, I had two jalapeno margaritas, and the rim I think was of that tagine stuff. I don't know if that if I'm saying it right, but it's something like that. I've looked for it in the grocery store, and I haven't found it yet. I'd probably have to go to one of the ethnic ones. Um, so I'm wondering if it'll end up tasting like that, where it's kind of sweet but still with a little bit of a kick, and so it's almost more like a, a chili sugar rim than actual like spice. But I don't know. I'm gonna try this now. This is a lollipop, and Regardless of what Brad uh, was saying with his double entendres, I do have to suck it, so I was wondering <laughs> how exactly do I try this on camera without it looking weird? Like, I don't think you want me, like, staring right into the camera and sucking it deeply. <laughs> like, I think that would be a little too much for, for YouTube, and also, I don't... I've, <laughs> like, Brad will immediately gif this and put it on the Discord that the other kids at the theater use, <laughs> so I'm not sure I want to do that, so I'm gonna try to make this, uh, as, uh, least fellatio looking as possible when I try this. So here's what it looks like without the wrapper, uh, if it'll focus. I'm not sure about the lighting on here. We'll let you see, but there's a, a decent amount of what looks like the spice on it. Weird that it's not like a perfect round or anything. Um, and there's some spice on the, the handle here, but uh, let's see how it is. And again, I'll try to make this not as awkward for you <laughs> or as awkward for me as this could be. Okay, that doesn't taste like watermelon or chili. That that tastes the way a basement smells. And I don't I don't know how old this is. I mean, I have been holding on to it for a couple weeks. Um, so maybe that's it. But yeah, it mostly just tastes dank. <laughs> kind of smells like that too. Let me try it again. Should I? I'll, I'll cover my mouth to prevent giffing. <laughs> All right, I'm getting down to some of the tartness now. Um, so I, I'm kind of getting to watermelon taste. It's just that the chili powder on it 
it's not spicy, but it, it's adding something. Like, I'm not just tasting pure, like, tart watermelon. Now, it's not like sour watermelon either. It's not like a, a like um, the watermelon Sour Patch Kids or anything. But yeah, the first taste that entered my mouth was like, this is the smell of like an antique store. <laughs> so, <laughs> antique store candy. That that's uh, that's interesting. Um, man, I don't. Uh, you know, make, to make this a bit more entertaining, maybe I'll block my mouth with uh, some more Kyle McLaughlin. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't quite place what the flavor is now that it's gotten past the antique store taste. Well, I still kind of taste the antique store a little bit. Um, but, um, there's like, there's a decent, like, pleasant tartness under it. But that's, but that's like the undertaste, like the, the surface taste. What is the surface taste? I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> Like, I, I can't figure out what that first taste is. It's, um... It's it's not unpleasant. It's, like, it's not, like, bad or disgusting or anything like that. Um... But I can't figure out what it is, because it doesn't... It doesn't taste much like chili powder. I, I mean, I know it is chili powder, but... I guess that mixed with the, the lollipop underneath... Because I don't even really taste watermelon, I just taste tartness. Um, but there's... I can't really place it, but it's... I mean, this isn't something I'd have again, it's not really something I'd recommend, but it's... It's kind of curious, like, because... It's not what I expected. I thought maybe this would taste like... You know, like uh, capsaicin or spiciness, like... Um, like when you put any sort of like jalapeno powder or something like that on there. And I know chili powder normally isn't as spicy as that kind of stuff. But I figured it'd be sort of like a spicy kick with tartness underneath, but it's not really spicy on top. It's something else, and I can't quite place it. So, sorry I can't quite describe what this tastes like. Um, and now, now I kind of want a lollipop that is covered in tagine, or even like one that's covered in... Now, habanero powder would probably be too much for a lollipop, but certainly jalapeno powder or um, something that has a, a little capsaicin on it would mix with the sweetness pretty well. So, I don't know, it's um, kind of disappointing, I guess. I was hoping for more. I mean, I was also thinking that maybe it was just sort of like when you have like a Sour Patch Kid or something, there's like a layer of the stuff on top of it and then you get to the gummy pretty quickly. It looks like this is like a bit more interwoven with the candy. So you probably get the chili powder all the way through. All right, one more try for this to see if I can describe it. I can't, it's just... I would just say it's tartness. I mean, there's a couple parts like at the bottom or on the side here where there's not as much powder, and that I can actually taste. Um, I can actually start to taste watermelon under it, like like general like watermelon candy. Um, but the I I can't, I just can't figure out what the chili powder mixed on top of it tastes like. But yeah, I mean the first the first taste was the way a, a, an attic or a um, antique store smells like. But then beyond that, it was just sort of an indescribable top flavor with just nothing but tartness underneath that that doesn't even quite taste like watermelon. So, I don't know, I can't quite recommend it. Um, not, I don't know, I'm not even going to finish it. I'm, I'm pretty much stopping here. So, um, yeah, that was the lollipop, and... Uh, I assume Brad's going to keep uh, presenting me with more things uh, with uh, pseudo-sexual banter until I finally leave the theater. <laughs> I don't know.